What's up everybody? Bill here, Guitar Struggles, with a brand new bass. Possibly, I'm going to say definitely, the world's most affordable brand new bass guitar. Can't beat it with a stick. I just got this today. I've been a bass player for one day. I'm officially now a bass player because I feel like I pretty much, I might not be good at bass, but I have, I have most of the things that you need. One, I have a bass, and I think that's the most important thing that you can have to be a bass player. Second of all, I have a mustache that uh, I think this is more actually more fitting of a bass player than of a guitar player. And uh, you know, bass is kind of an instrument. Now don't get me wrong, you can be good at bass, but you don't have to be good at bass. So I, I, I'm going to say this, I'm pretty much qualified, I'm going to say, to be in just about any cover band, especially any local cover band around here. Totally can be a fucking bass player. <laughs> Now, is this the most awesome bass in the world? Fuck no. $69 off of Amazon, okay? And I was looking at basses for a while. Uh, well, first let me tell you, the, the brand of this bass, and they don't put their name on the headstock, and I don't know why, I'd be proud. It's, it's a company called GoPlus, okay? G-O-P-L-U-S. But I think it's pronounced GoPrus, because I'm pretty sure all their shit's manufactured in China. And this bass was definitely manufactured in China. And, and but to me, for sixty nine bucks, it, it makes sounds like a bass. And I got this to uh, to make my own backing tracks. And, and now I have everything. I have Easy Drummer, this, and I also have a, a guitar, multiple guitars. So there's going to be all kinds of fucking awesome music coming. But uh, I was so impressed with this bass for sixty nine bucks that I kind of wanted to do a review of it. And like I said, I, I've only been a bass player for one day, so there's, there's not a whole lot I can do. But there's not a whole lot to do. I feel like that's a song. I, I feel like I could totally play that in a band uh, uh, and, and be totally rocking at bass. And po possibly even get some pussy. I could possibly get pussy off of like a red-headed fat woman that, that's like my age with an old faded Motley Crue shirt with, with a lot of freckles, a lot of freckles and super fat if I got drunk enough. But I'm digging it, man. It's it's totally... It, now, let me give a, a quick review on this bass. It's got a rosewood fretboard, supposedly. The, the neck doesn't feel bad, but I'm going to say that I don't know if you can see this on the camera. The action's high as fuck, and, and there's too much neck relief in there. But I also realize the action on a bass is supposed to be higher because the strings are so fucking thick that uh, you need high action, otherwise they'll be buzzing out. And it works. I mean, everything works. The volume works. I, uh, it works. Yeah. Look, I'm doing volume swells on the bass. I'm totally getting the bass down. It's fucking me up, though, because I, I feel like this should be another E string, because it's the first string. That's my problem. That's my problem. And... I just need to get better at the bass, but but I'm digging it. Not not really comfortable to play. Um, so far, it's holding a tune. I I gotta be honest. It was very scary. It was scary to tune it. It, it made a lot of noises, like it was possibly going to crack or explode. These pop metal tuning keys, uh, they feel like they could possibly break, um, but but it's working for now. Uh, for sixty nine bucks, disposable bass. Uh, you know, say if I'm playing a gig, I'm playing a gig and I hook up with that gal and there's no room in her car for me, for her to ride me home and I was too drunk to drive my cell phone, fuck it, I'll just leave the base, I'll leave the base and if I made $69 at that gig, I'll just call it even, call it even. So this company GoPlus, or GoPrus as, as it's pronounced, they make a lot of shit. I mean, you can be anything with GoPrus. You could totally be a bass player, um, like I just became within one day. You can also be a welder. They, they sell MIG welders for like $89. You could totally get into the welding business and just learn how to order it off of Amazon and be a welder. 
They also sell a lot of ex exercise equipment. They sell a folding treadmill, which I'm not sure how small it folds. Uh, they sell that. They, they sell this ab machine, which looks kind of more like you're sticking your ass up in the air, waiting for someone to stick stick some penis into your ass. And it looks really funny, but I'm sure in China that's the way they exercise. And they don't need to exercise as much because they're, they're much busier than us. Because they're fucking commies. And, and that's the other thing. You might be like, well, how did they keep the price down on this base so much? 69 bucks. Brand new. Because, you know, just the strings alone don't cost $69. But I'm going to say the craftsmanship probably isn't all the greatest in the world. It's made out of some wood-like material, because it came with this ding in it. I don't know if you can see, but it doesn't bother me for 69 bucks. It may be some kind of paper mache based thing. And, and it's definitely got a neck dive, I can tell you that, because it's light as fuck here. Um, but, the, but the neck's pretty light. The whole thing's light. It's lighter than any guitar I have. <laughs> so, they don't put a lot of quality into it, but it's 69 bucks. And then, how else do they keep the price down? Well, it's easy. They're communists. They, they pay their employees with fucking rice sandwiches. How, how much does that cost? Here's your rice sandwich. Rice on fucking bread. Bread also made out of rice. So, so basically, if you got a rice patty, you, you got all the fucking free labor you want. And this isn't picking up that good on the camera, but, but this is actually, like, it, it's blue. It, it's a nice looking color. Um... It's not picking it up, but but it's like a it's it's I'm gonna call it midnight blue, and it also uh, I'm thinking this is kind of a decal or painted on, but they have some sort of wood grain in it just to make it look like it has wood grain. So again, I'm digging it, man. I'm thinking the octaves are the way to go, but uh, that that's a bass part. That's not a bass part, but I, I, that's a total bass part, I, and I can totally lay down awesome backing tracks now, and if I ever get some fucking time to actually practice guitar, make some awesome fucking music. So I'm pretty pleased with it, um, you know, and I've seen some good reviews and some bad reviews, but if you're just looking for a bass and, and deciding whether you like it or not, why, why get... The next cheapest thing was a Fender Squire. 199 or an Ibanez 199 and those are both decent bases but fuck you get three of them for this okay and, and there was another base that was it might be cheaper I think it was 79 but it also came with a base amp which I don't want a fucking base amp because it's just another hunk of shit to take up space and how good can it be for an extra ten dollars thrown in okay but but I'm happy with this man it's just like when you go to fucking Walmart and you buy great value toilet paper you know you buy the fucking bargain shit you don't get all pissed off when your hand goes through it when you're trying to wipe your ass. It's what you expect. And this also came, it came with a gig bag. And I know that I'm against gig bags, but for a $69 guitar, I'm going to say fucking gig bag is a plus. It's not much thicker than a, than a regular grocery bag. And it also has the straps on the back that you can wear. So if I was going to ride my bike to a gig, I'm not going to put the guitar in it. Because to be completely honest with you, I don't have a lot of confidence in these straps that the integrity of them is going to hold up in the long run. Oh fuck, I'm too fucking fat for this. But you get the, I can wear this on my back if I had the base in it. But like I said, I don't know if I trust that 10 year old boy that said, it, it doesn't feel bad. I just don't know, I, I don't know how well this will hold together. What else do we got? And I think we got some case candy with it too. Gig bag candy from GoPress. Here's the uh, here's the cable, the cord it came with. Very thin. I'm like, oh look, it even has a pick and an Allen key for adjusting that truss rod, which which I might give it a shot. But I think I'm going to play it like this. Some of you bass players, let me know how high the action is supposed to be. I, I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be pretty high. So you got that for 69 bucks. What else? And a strap. And again, this strap. I don't know how much I trust this to hold my $69 base on. And, and it might be a little short for me as well. This, this might be a child size strap, but fuck it, you know what? They gave it to you. And this is not made, this is made out of some cardboard like material. This is definitely not going to hold up. But fuck it, 69 bucks. 
I highly recommend the, the company of GoPress. And I know they say they're based out of Canada, supposedly. Based out of Canada, whatever that means. They have a phone number there. And I've seen a lot of people complain about the customer service. But then again, what do you want? You're buying the cheapest possible shit you could possibly get. They also sell lawn chairs and like patio furniture. Probably cheap as fuck. Probably for like a dollar. It's like the Dollar General, Dollar Tree of, of fucking different products. And they, they spread themselves thin. They're, they're definitely involved in a lot of different products. And like I said, for the price, you can't beat it, you know? Just be like, you gotta be careful with shit like that. Like, I don't even know if they make tampons. If they did, if I had a period and a vagina, I would use their tampons. I would just, I wouldn't wear white pants with their tampons on an extra heavy flow day, if, if you know what I mean. But other than that, you know, I always go by, you get, you get what, you, what you pay for. And for 69 bucks, uh, I'm more than fucking happy, man. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. Worth every fucking penny of 69 bucks. Where, where the fuck else are you going to get a base for 69 bucks? So that's my review I got for you guys. I give it a thumbs up. Go press. Go press bass guitar. Fucking dig it, man. Highly recommend it for 69 bucks. And it was free shipping, too, and I'm not even an Amazon Prime member. They don't sell them at music stores, though, because music stores aren't going to sell shit like that. So you got to be careful. If you want this bass, I'm pretty sure you got to get it on Amazon or, or the Go press store if they, if they have their own website. Uh, Go press. Just type it up. Type it in, but remember, it's spelled plus, P-L-U-S, but, but it's pronounced go plus because it's Chinese shit. Um, so that's what I got for this time. And I think what I'm going to do, because I don't know how to put those tags and shit up. I'm going to put up, and I make shitty videos, so, but I'm going to put a link to another one of my shitty videos in case you want to watch another, another shitty Guitar Struggles Bill video. Uh, I'm going to put, you know, the best of the shittiest or the worst of the shittiest. And, and this might be, start to be a regular feature. So let me know, what do you think of the GoPress? Have you, have you bought any different products from GoPress? Elmo B, do you own any GoPress uh, welders? I know you're into welding. Who, ha who has GoPress shit on their, on their back patio for, for lawn furniture? Has anyone tried the GoPress exercise equipment? And has it gotten you into fucking awesome shape? And what else do they make? So that's what I got, everybody. Till next time. Your struggles are most definitely my struggles. GoPress is fucking awesome. And I'm out of here.